This is the Eli Lilly Manufacturing Campus in Ireland. The site manufactures and supplies many of the newest medicines in Lilly's portfolio. When the COVID-19 pandemic spread across the globe in the spring of 2020, scientists and engineers at this Eli Lilly site were at the forefront of a project to tackle the shortage of a chemical agent called lysis buffer, which is a key component in the coronavirus PCR testing. Back in March 2020, when the coronavirus took hold, scientists and engineers here at the Eli Lilly plant in Kinsale in County Cork undertook a unique collaboration with the University of Limerick, University College Cork and the Cork Institute of Technology to develop a reagent or lysis buffer to identify the properties of the virus. In doing so, they not only speeded up testing, but also the provision of urgent test results. Many of you people will remember early in March the TV footage we saw coming out of northern Italy that focused on intensive care units that were collapsing due to the load of COVID patients. At the time, many of us here in Ireland thought we just we would not want to see that happen here. So a number of people from Lilly and other companies, both pharmaceutical firms and also engineering firms, came together and offered voluntarily a team of resources to the health services to respond to any needs they might have. And so the COVID Alliance was born. The whole intent of the Alliance was built into its motto, actually, which was an Irish uh, phrase called Be all of Nynartica Curlicaela, which is be prepared and there's no strength without unity. The concept behind that was all of the organisations involved, and at the very end it actually became 50 different organisations from industry, academia and from the state, all came together without any reference to their badges, their sources, no sense of trying to get individual credit. They came together under this single brand called the COVID Alliance. We were aware of the fact that uh, some of the colleges had already been contacted by the hospitals to see what they might be able to do. Obviously, uh, academic laboratories usually deal with very small quantities of materials, and what they had uh, been doing was essentially uh, modifying the, the uh, formula for the buffer uh, such that we could actually minimise the, the quantities of materials and particularly uh, a chemical called guanidine thiocyanate which is the key uh, ingredient, if you will, uh, in the buffer. I suppose what I was asked to do really was to coordinate the effort across academia and industry in terms of being able to, number one, find a formula that actually worked uh, equally well as the commercial kits and then to be able to find a mechanism for scaling that up such that we could supply countrywide on an as-needed basis. Once the formula was trialled, tested and proven effective, a significant quantity of lysis buffer was then manufactured at the Irish National Institute for Bioprocessing Research and Training in Dublin for distribution nationwide. Following the preparation of the buffer, we worked um, with the academic partners to prepare an article which detailed the preparation of the, of the lysis buffer and how it had been tested in the clinical laboratories to show that it was effective and could be used as, um, in the testing of the COVID-19 uh, buffer. So that article then that Sunday night, it was published in BioArchive, which is like an open access online repository and archive for preprints in the life sciences. So in that way, we we got that information out to the international scientific community, you know, just, just so that that could be used um, to, to aid their efforts to respond to the pandemic. The work done by the COVID Alliance team to deliver an improved formula for making lysis buffer meant that Ireland was in a position to significantly increase weekly COVID-19 testing capacity at a critical stage of the pandemic. This increased testing capacity has surely contributed to greater and faster identification of COVID-19 cases, helping reduce the spread of the virus in Ireland, thus saving lives over the course of the pandemic to date.